All right, folks, thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you could please, before you leave, fill in a little feedback sheet. There should be a pencil or two on each table. Uh, if not, there'll be one on the next table. That really helps us to, uh, you know, improve and know, what, uh, know what's interesting and so on. Um, I want to give you um, a quick overview of what uh, we anticipate co to be about. It might change a little bit, but this is, this is kind of what we think at the moment. You'll see that we've actually rebranded. So you'll see some laptop stickers on the tables, which are green, and we've actually rebranded to purple since we've had them printed, but that's fine. So you get to be the first, the first wave of people, so your laptop stickers will be like super valuable in, in uh, like a few weeks' time. <clears throat> anyway. If you remember nothing else from this next like 15 minutes or whatever it is, then remember these three things. We'll have some monthly meetups where we uh, hear from people doing interesting things with software. So it's not necessarily about software engineers. It's about where software is being used. We will have some software engineers, but we'll have other people like Katie, who is not primarily a software engineer, but is using software in a particular way to do something interesting. And they'll be every month, and generally speaking, the uh, first Thursday of every month. Uh, the second thing I'd like you to remember is uh, something called Digital Ambassadors for the Leeds City Region. I'll explain it later, but essentially that's about people uh, kind of evangelizing uh, software and kind of digital stuff in general in the, what's called the Leeds City Region, which is kind of West Yorkshire and a bit more. Um, and that's a project which we've just kind of started moving towards, um, but it, it could promise to be really quite exciting. And the final thing is a really important part of Code Mill is uh, diversity and social inclusion. For people writing software and being involved in digital in general. So that's a really key, a key part of what we want to achieve. Um, there's, a, there's a UK digital skills gap that's costing the country, I don't know how, the, who, how this is arrived at, but it's costing the country 63 billion. I mean, that's an impossibly big figure, but that's the actual parliamentary figure. Um, I think it's annually. And the ma vast majority of employers are reporting a shortage of digital skills. So Code Mill is, is, is in here trying to do a little bit toward addressing uh, some of those, uh, some aspects of this. So we've got the shortage of digital skills. There's a general move towards a digital service economy. So a lot of jobs that would have been around in the past sort of no longer really here because they've sort of been digitized or there's new machinery to, to, to do that instead. And also there's many groups that are really quite poorly represented in doing things with software and doing things digitally. Uh, so um, women, uh, but also people from poorer backgrounds, uh, older people as well, and so on. So that's, that's part of what we want to address. Now, as the godfather didn't actually say, it's not business, it's personal. This is also a personal thing for me. Um, so I was born in Bradford. I live in Leeds. I want to do something to make a, a kind of contribution to the area. Uh, so this is, this is absolutely not about um, making money. This is about kind of trying to give something back to the community. Um, but it's also not just me. There, we, there's other people involved as well. So what are we talking about? So it's a not-for-profit initiative for this Leeds City region. Um, I've been with other people. I've been uh, doing meetups and conferences and training for the last four years, kind of alongside my consulting work. So I'm an IT consultant. I've, got, I've had an IT consulting business for the last four years, but I'm doing kind of training and so on through in this not-for-profit uh, company uh, for, alongside that for the last four years. And there's, like a, there's a wider family of kind of other uh, meetups and conferences and, and this kind of thing as well. So we, we can kind of learn from each other uh, and so on. Uh, so, yeah, so what's happening? We've got this monthly meetup. We've also got some training for digital skills. There'll be a you'll, we'll look at one of, well, I've mentioned it already, haven't I, earlier on, uh, which is the tech talks for beginners. So that's one example of the training that we'll be running. There's digital ambassadors program. And there'll be other kind of events, and probably a conference as well, maybe next, back end of next year. So the mission is to showcase people and organizations doing great things with software around the Leeds City region. And there's lots of people doing lots of great things with software. Um, 
and we've we've found speakers for the meetup through to the end of January already. If you have a look on the meetup uh, page, you'll see the names and kind of uh, like backgrounds of some of the people. You'll see there's quite a range of different stuff happening. We've got a teacher who does uh, software for kids in schools. There's, there's Lorraine who will be here next month with her uh, cycling safety stuff. Uh, we've got people doing stuff with uh, automation, uh, cloud software, and so on. There's all sorts of different kind of cool stuff with software happening. So our focus uh, is, as I mentioned, digital skills, current digital skills, futures digital skills, uh, a focus on kind of diversity and inclusion, making sure that, we've, that we're emphasizing a kind of excellence in engineering that we're promoting. It's not just about, uh, it's not just about understanding how to use a web browser or how to use a mobile phone. It's actually really trying to build a, a kind of uh, a sense of excellence ar around the engineering talent that, um, that we help to, to develop. And to pr promote the North and the Leeds City region in general, because there's an awful lot of stuff happening here. And often, we don't shout about it enough. So let's try and do that. So the current digital skills, kind of um, web, mobile, cloud, there's lots of, lots of people in industries, in jobs, uh, doing these kind of things. And it's important that there's a real shortage in leads. We know that. So we'll be doing some stuff, uh, particularly on training and uh, workshops and things to help uh, train up more people in these kind of roles, developers, testers, designers, operations, DevOpsy stuff, and so on. That's all really important. Um, but we're also looking to the future. So in the future, um, uh, you know, for various reasons, we won't have many foreign or EU workers picking fruit uh, for the next few years. So what will happen is that either the fruit goes rotten or there'll actually be uh, mechanized means of, of picking that fruit. And how do we control these machines? We control them through software that we write. So there's a real opportunity to, um, to be part of this uh, transformation to a much more uh, uh, kind of digital, automated uh, way of doing various different things, lots of telemetry, so what's called IoT, Internet of Things, smart buildings, robot farms, and so on, voice control, machine learning. There's lots of stuff happening already in the Leeds City region, but there's an opportunity to kind of accelerate it and get, become part of it. This stuff is probably, in my opinion, this stuff is going to be way bigger than kind of the traditional web and mobile um, industries. This is, this, there's absolutely huge uh, opportunities for, for getting involved in, in software through these kind of applications. So who, um, who, who are we going to involve? Well, the key thing here is, is diversity. And diversity is, is, is essential, in my view, for this stuff. For even just if you look at the engineering side of it, we actually get better solutions with a more diverse range of thinking of people from different backgrounds, people with uh, different kind of, if you like, psychological sort of uh, ways of thinking. Um, and there's plenty of studies now that show actually uh, uh, companies that have uh, a good representation of women in the boardroom are much more profitable. I mean, there's a really pragmatic, like monetary kind of uh, reason for doing this stuff um, and setting our, setting our companies up like this. But it's also the right thing to do. For me, it's the right thing to do. Uh, and diversity comes in lots of different forms, right? It's not just about a, a balance between men and women, but that's an important part. But uh, black and Asian, minority ethnic, people, uh, children who are not in education, employment, or training, older people as well who often get forgotten, uh, and people from poorer areas. And there's plenty of poor areas in our part of the world. So here we've got uh, Masako Waki, uh, Wakamiya, who's 82, and she's an app developer from Japan. She wrote an app to do something with um, different kind of uh, formal dress codes in the kind of Japanese culture, something like this. Uh, and she's awesome. Uh, you can find out about her online. We, I'd love to get involved and help people of this kind of age to use soft, write software and do stuff that's interesting for them. Why not? Um, this is not our typical profile of a software developer, right? We think of maybe a geek and kind of likes coffee or likes wheat beer or whatever, but why not? Um, we've started some discussions to have partnerships with uh, some schools and colleges in the region, um, housing associations as well. So some of these ideas, many of these ideas, by the way, have come from Katie, uh, who spoke earlier. Um, so I'm really grateful to her for, for the conversations. 
uh, University of the Third Age, which is, which is an organization for older people. Uh, Women's, Women's Institute, which is a very interesting idea. I hadn't thought about it at all. But actually, why not? They're very well organized. They do lots of kind of building crafty type things together um, and, and so on. And, and we've also got a strong industrial heritage. This is Abbey Mills in Kirkstall, just three miles down the road. Uh, strong industrial heritage in kind of manufacturing. There's lots of people who have got expertise in building things, right? We know, lots of people know how to build things around here. We're not in the middle of farmland, middle of nowhere. We, we know how to build stuff. And uh, there's a really good opportunity to kind of lean on this industrial heritage, but from a kind of digital building software viewpoint. So how are we going to do this? What we've done so far is uh, we've sponsored the Wuthering Bites Festival in Hebden Bridge. That was uh, last week, or finished last week. Uh, so that's uh, all about uh, uh, open source hardware and software and firmware and building uh, small devices and so on. And I know the team here at ODI Leeds are involved with some of the uh, what's called Things Networks, so Internet of Things, that um, they were at the Wuthering Bites Festival. That's why we kind of got involved and sponsored them. I've... I'll be submitting tomorrow morning a grant application to the Royal Academy of Engineering uh, that will then support this uh, digital ambassadors program that I mentioned before. I'll mention that a little bit later. Uh, and there's other grants that we're applying for too to try and bring in some money to help us uh, fund some things. Uh, and as I said, we've got uh, meet meetup speakers uh, booked in until the end of January 2018. And we've actually got a few more conversations as well beyond that. Uh, that's to try and give you a flavor of the sorts of topics we'll be covering. Um, and it, you'll see it's quite a wide range. should be interesting. That's, that's, our, that's what we hope. Um, to help with meetups, speakers for meetups here, but not just that, to help with speakers for meetups in general in the area, we're running these tech talks for beginners. So it's a one-day kind of training preparation for conferences and meetup groups. Uh, we've got two dates, one in London, but the one in Leeds is on the 23rd of November. Um, so that's the tickets are online now. Um, I'll send out a link through the meetup, through the meetup group email thing. Um, so the idea of putting this on is because if, uh, so I may have, let, let's say I'm, I'm doing something with software as part of my job, or at home. I might not be aware how interesting that thing is, because maybe I'm doing it in isolation or something, or I've been beavering away at it for ages and it doesn't seem very interesting to me. Actually, in my experience anyway, having done this with quite a lot of people over the last few years, there's things that to some people seem quite boring, and actually they're really cool, they're really good, they're something that's really worth shouting about. It's just we need to kind of tease it out and help them help that person to... Uh, characterize what they've done in a way which means they can talk about it effectively. Uh, and then there's some kind of presentation skills, how to, how to give just practical stuff about putting slides together, presentation. You know, simple things like the size of the font. To be honest, this size of this typeface at the bottom is on the small side for my liking. But I didn't want to go any smaller. But you know, some people have got tiny, tiny font and you can't read it. And practical things like that as well we'll, we'll cover in, in the session. So if you're interested, then look out for the email or, or, or follow the link here. Uh, there are some possible projects that we might get involved with. So as, we, uh, as, we're, tr as we're providing training and kind of bringing people's skill levels up in terms of coding and software, uh, we want to find some projects which are interesting to get involved with, but kind of socially useful. So here's one example. This may or may not happen, but here's a, here's a very good example. The Yorkshire Wildlife Trust approached uh, ODI leads, and actually it's Tom who's just sat there, who they spoke to. Hi, Tom. Uh, and they said, uh, they said, we need a way to track bats. We need a way to find where the bats are and track them. Can you help us? And it turns out that actually with some, some of the modern kind of hardware and software combinations, it's, uh, there's actually a group in, in, um, in Hebden Bridge who've actually built something that, that can listen to the listen to these kind of echoes that the, the bats send out and then start to map where the bats are and how many different bats. It's a, it's a kind of project that we might, might be interested to get involved in. Um, 
There's another project which is, or another kind of theme, if you like, which is really interesting, is something called uh, LoRaWAN, which is Long Range Wide Area Network. And this is uh, an amazing kind of uh, emerging technology for Internet of Things. So for things that, uh, for, for devices or, or, or things that only need to send a reading maybe every minute. So let's say you've got a sensor in the soil, or you've got 100 sensors in a field measuring the, um, measuring the, the uh, how damp the soil is. Do they need to send a reading every second? No, it's not going to change very much every second. Maybe once a minute, maybe once every 10 minutes is enough. So there are certain kind of applications for Internet of Things where you only need, only need to send data very, very infrequently. And this technology here, which is kind of um, sort of based on cellular, like your cell phone technology, um, is emerging to deal with some of this stuff. And it's kind of, it's kind of really exciting applications coming out. Um, Actually, if you want to know more about that and Internet of Things in general, there's actually... Uh, <laughs> uh, Tom's, demonstrating the, uh, Tom's demonstrating the LoRaWAN access point, which is here in the building, which is like, it's one of these, uh, it's one of these little LoRa gateways here. So he's demonstrating that right here. They actually have an access point. So if you're interested in that stuff, you can actually then, like, as long as you're within, I think it's three, three miles, 3K, something like this. Three, three miles of, of ODI leads here, then you'll be able to connect your little device through to, through to the base station here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mentioned uh, we're also going to partnership with uh, some colleges and universities in Leeds for digital skills training. And so Ash, who's at the front here, who was super helpful on the door on the way in, has been uh, involved in that. And we've got a couple of other people, oh, some other people are involved too. Um, and we'll, we're, we're trying to see what, what could be useful there to try and tie up uh, what's coming out of the universities with what employers need, but also looking to the future as well, not just on current needs. Uh, there, I'm working on the possibility of bringing together people for a conference in late 2018. Imagine the combination of people who like to make things, so makers, I build, tinker around and build some stuff at home, with manufacturers, people who build things on a large scale. Now, we're getting to the point where the combination of those two skills is going to be very useful, and we've got um, sort of IoT and some of these software and, and small hardware modules and things that are now available, means actually there's a kind of convergence of, of these two previously very different uh, spheres of life, if you like, um, it's kind of like software for IoT, something like this, but actually where uh, if we can bring, perhaps bring these two groups of people together and see, see what kind of conversations emerge, um, certainly that, that kind of area, software for IoT, is, is the growth area of the future in terms of digital skills. And we're kind of uniquely placed, well, not uniquely, but we're, we're unusually placed in the UK uh, in terms of industrial heritage and awareness of how to kind of combine this stuff and, and, and build things. All right, so how are we actually going to do this? Uh, in terms of money, we've got, we'll have sponsors to sponsor the meetup and events. Um, we'll be offering training, so to individuals, but also companies. And so that will bring in some money to help us fund some of these other things, which are less lucrative. And then we're applying for some grants from, uh, for specific projects, but also professional bodies, uh, engineering or software and what have you. Working with some organizations, we're sponsoring Leeds Testing Atelier, yay! Because <laughs> they're a group of really awesome people. Code Your Future is a group that works with refugees to teach them how to write software so they can uh, earn a living. And we've uh, donated some power supplies so they can buy some new laptops, or they get some new laptops, and we've also donated some money to uh, help them open an office in Manchester. Um, we're also involved with Kirkstall Valley Development Trust who are trying to renovate uh, Abbey Mills in Kirkstall and hopefully, fingers crossed, if that goes ahead, we might end up doing some events or some other stuff there. Uh, we'll see. Obviously, we're here now at, at ODR Leeds. So the family looks like this. Uh, there's actually a few more than this. I just wanted to list these. 
So I've been running this meetup group, Continuous Delivery, uh, London CD meetup group since 2012. I used to live in London, I'm now based here. Um, so we've been going quite a while, and Pipeline Conference is, uh, again, like related to software, that's been going for, for uh, a few years. So we've got some, uh, some experience of kind of running things and running events and training and so on, um, that we can, so we can use that ex experience to, to help make uh, these, the, the co-mill events, uh, as, good as, they, as good as they should be. And we really want you as well. We'd, we'd love, um, we're really looking for people to get involved. So this is like an enthusiastic thing, uh, kind of passion for good software, for doing things well, interesting people, bringing together people from different disciplines to try and find some interesting stuff to do with, with software primarily. So we're definitely looking for meetup speakers. If you're interested in speaking, if you've done something vaguely interesting with software, then please get in touch because we want to have a really interesting range of, of topics and uh, things to share. As we've already seen, if maybe you're, not, maybe you're a first time speaker or not very confident, so there's the training specifically uh, on the 23rd of November and there'll be other ones in the future. But if you just want some advice or can you look through these slides, just get in touch. Get in touch and we'll look through the slides, we'll help you make some suggestions, meet up for a coffee, what have you. Um, that's very straightforward. Um, and it's very useful to have a little bit of help running the meetup, so thank you to Ash. Um, that's really, really useful. If you're interested in kind of getting involved like that, so you get to meet people, get to think about different software topics. Again, we'd love to hear from you. And super useful is sponsorship. So if you work for a company that has loads of money and sloshing around, and uh, they like to sponsor things because they like to meet interesting people and potentially try and uh, employ them, then please get in touch because uh, it's not free to run the meetups. Uh, and the more money we have coming in for sponsorship, the more money we can use to subsidize tickets for training, for example, um, and uh, kind of put that money towards use, socially useful things. Now here's the bit that's, that's super interesting for me, is the uh, digital ambassadors. So the plan is this. The digital ambassadors will be will focus on the lead city region. In 2018, we aim to recruit 10 people. Well, by the by, the start of 2018, we want to have found 10 people. Uh, at least four of which will be women. Ideally, it's half and half, but at least four. The, and the the remit here is that we will uh, train these 10 people in uh, kind of advocacy skills, work, uh, working with different kind of groups, like how, how do you interact with like, older people, or how do you interact with people from a different background or whatever, um, but also how do you just talk about software, how do, how do you talk about how a computer works and so on. Uh, so promoting good digital engineering in, or, in and around the lead city region. And there'll be a series of events uh, that culminate in a kind of a showcase thing at the end, um, some of the details yet to be worked out, and yes, it kind of depends on us getting some funding, but the, 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 model, uh, the model is really sound, I think. It, they will be paid, assuming we can get the right funding, these, the, these roles will be paid a bit. It won't be very much, but they'll be paid a bit, so you don't feel like it's entirely volunteer, if you like, because it'll be valuable. It'll be valuable, to, it's, from, our, from our point of view, it's valuable to invest in, in people doing this stuff. Um, so you, You'll see more information coming out about this um, kind of over the coming weeks and months and things. If you're interested, again, get in touch because uh, it's, if we can make it work, I think it's going to be really awesome. That is pretty much it. So again, just to remind you what's going on, monthly meetups, there's training for digital skills. These, this digital ambassadors program, which will be warming up from now and then, and then on fire in 2018, and there'll be various conferences and events. But we can do other things too. That's why the question mark's here. So if you've got some suggestions of things that you think would be worthwhile doing, particularly speakers, but it could be an event or conference or whatever, then please get in touch as well. You can write, write it anonymously, if you like, on the bottom of the feedback form. That's also fine. Or just, just ping us an email. The hi at codemail.tech will get through. 
or use Twitter, or if you want, telephone. <laughs> 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 So what kind of, um, what kind of people are you looking, up, looking, up, looking up for there for your digital ambassadors? We're looking, so... Yeah, good point. So how, the question was, what kind of, what's the profile of people we're looking for for the digital ambassadors? Um, we're looking for people who are enthusiastic about software, about writing it, and about explaining to other people how to write it. Enthusiastic about seeing other people start from, like, start from nothing and learning how to write a program. Um, so it could be something super, super basic, it could be a little game, but actually seeing people, uh, enjoying seeing how people get to grips with how to, how to write software. Um, so it, it's, it's not, with our focus here is not digital in the sense of learning how to use a mobile app or learning how to use a web browser. It's, it's about writing code. It's about building, building software, whoever it is, whether a young person, you know, an old person, whoever, whoever we're working with. So really the main thing is you have to, we need digital ambassadors who have got an awareness of how software actually works. I mean, we need, you know, it has to be about, it has to be a sound basis, on a, a kind of engineering basis. We need to understand you know, how, how, the, how the software is actually executing on the machine. But, it's, it's, but the really key thing is, is uh, a real passion for, for writing software in the first place and seeing other people get to grips with, with, uh, with writing software. And uh, part of the training will be to help people be uh, confident to uh, advocate for you know, writing software as a, as a thing, as an interesting way to, to make a living. But also writing people f advocating like the lead city region as a place where interesting software happens. So we're kind of promoting the region too, as well as promoting software as a, as a career. So if you think that's you, or think it might be you, or it might be you after you've been to one of the training events, then just get in touch. We're, we'll, we'll be looking for people over the next few months as well, kind of repeating this message a little bit, trying to find people who are, who are involved who want to be involved. And please leave your completed feedback forms on the table. I'll collect those in a minute. And see you next time. Thank you very much.